Hey beautiful people, welcome to today's video. Today I want to talk about 10 things that makes the X-H2 from Fujifilm an apex predator. I mean, let's face it, this camera is way ahead of its peers. I mean, it outlasts any other APS-C camera that came before it and it outruns a lot and I mean a lot of full frame cameras. So here are 10 things that I believe makes this camera an apex predator. It's actually having all of these APS-C cameras for lunch. Let's start with number one. Raw recording. This feature alone takes this camera, the X-H2, and put it up there in the arena of the full frame and in fact, the top full frame cameras. Um, not only can it output the B-Raw, it can also output the ProRes Raw. So if you have um, either a Blackmagic monitor or a um, Atomos uh, recording monitor, you can use this camera to output 12-bit RAW from its HDMI. So alone this feature is huge. But anyway, we still have nine to go. Number two, the ProRes internal. So if you have an, a CF Express because uh, the XH2 take both the CF Express, the Type B, and also the SD card, you are able to output um in fact to record prores internal so if your workflow you're using prores and you don't want to uh, transcode after shooting you can just use your cf express type b and record either your prores light your prores 422 and also your prores uh, hq depending on the quality you're looking for and number three i'm saying kudos to fujifilm here because they have been using the micro um, HDMI. So they have included a full HDMI in this camera. I do understand that there are pros who prefer the SDI, um, but having a full HDMI is a plus. Um, you, if you have used the uh, micro HDMI and the mini HDMI, you will realize that they bend easily. So the inclusion of the HDMI in the mirrorless sector is actually quite nice. Number four is the 160 megapixel picture that you can take. So um, Fujifilm has in included for the first time on the XT range, they have included what they call a pixel shift multi-shot. I believe it was on the GFX, uh, your medium format uh, cameras from Fujifilm. So they have included it here on the XT range, or uh, sorry, actually on the XH range. So let me rather say this is the first time they include it on the X range. So what happens is you'll need a tripod and your subject must be stationary. You just um, move it to your, your, your uh, pixel shift mode, then you can Click it once and it's going to take uh, 20 photos and it's going to use its internal uh, IBIS to be able to create uh, what they call um, a pixel shift multi-shot. So it automatically takes those photos. You just click once. You don't have to do anything after that. Then what you get is um, a 160 megapixel high resolution photo. On number five, um, they have included what they call um, 4K zooming, or let me rather say just zooming. So even if you are using your prime lens uh, and then you shoot um, 4K, uh, but it is on certain modes like your 4K HQ. So what happens is that it uses the whole 8K sensor then it, it um, downsample it to 4K. So that's where you will be able to be able to use um, the zoom function. So it's easier to just uh, put it on or assign a button for it so that when you press that button, it's actually going to zoom. And um, what I have seen, it looks like the zooming is uh, linear. Then on photos uh, where I have used it, it actually was functioning a bit different. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if there is a setting that can make it sort of uh, zoom linear. Because on the photos, um, what happens is when you click once, 
then it goes to 1.4 times then you click for the second time it goes to two times so you are able to zoom up to two times even on video it's up to two times but you can zoom um, in a linear form number six um this is not really a feature the shutter of this camera the mechanical shutter its durability is up to 500,000. so this is up there um, with the best of the best um, even full frame cameras um, we have seen cameras like or brands like sony um, for a very long time now they have actually removed the recording limit on the video site so for the first time um, fujifilm have, has followed suit and you are able to record a very long clips you no longer have the 15 minutes or 30 minutes uh, recording limit on number seven um, they have included what is called um, subject detection autofocus so there's a couple of things that have been included there uh, which is your your like your cars um, it will be your racing cars or it could be your motorcycle your bicycle um, animal detection and on there the nice thing that i liked is that they have included an eye autofocus and when your eye autofocus is on the camera actually recognizes the person um it can put like a, a uh, not a square what do you call it a rectangle it can put a rectangle on the person but as soon as it finds the head or the face then it goes to the eye and i have tested this the eye autofocus is way much better than any other fujifilm camera that i have used and i have used xh1 xt3 and xt4 so this is a lot better way much better so let's go to number eight it's a focus assistant so um this is how it works you put your camera on manual focus um then it will be able to show you that you need to uh, shift your lens or turn your lens to the left or to the right to be able to uh, acquire focus where the rectangle is so that's going to help quite a lot i have used it a couple of times on um, canon and this works way much better you are able to have a graphical um, representation on the screen saying you have nailed focus or you have to move back or you have to move forward so this is um, a welcome feature um, let's go to number nine so they have increased your shutter speed you can go up to a hundred and eightieth of a second that's extremely fast that means you are able to freeze a motion quite easily um number 10 the supporting accessories so since well this camera is not a cinema camera but it's very very close to being a cinema camera given um the the codex that it has um so anyway they have included some accessories that can help or that will even help um, to be able to record longer so the first thing is the cooling you are able to buy a cooling and put it um, at the back of the camera where the screen is actually supposed to be closing there is this two um, uh, screws that you get with the, the with the cooling fan and then they go right onto the holes at the back of the camera and then there is an, an interface here that the cooling fan will interface with then this will help you to cool down and increase your video recording and the second one and the third one are battery grips but the second um, battery grip is not your normal battery grip um, it has a couple of nice things um, in fact one of the main thing is your LAN port so with your LAN port you are able to add a LAN cable then that means you are able to connect to um, your, your home connection or wherever you'll be shooting you're able to connect to that network and then um, with your PC or with your tablet with um, one application you are able to control about four cameras so you can start record stop record you can do a couple of things on that so these are the 10 things that make me believe um or these are the 10 things that actually makes this camera 
an apex camera up there with the best of the full frame cameras thank you for watching um there will be more videos on the xh2 particularly um i will try to do some videos on the xh2s so if you liked this please do the right thing and also you can subscribe to my channel thank you